Hello, welcome, welcome back to A Day Full of Budgets. Um, it feels like ages um, since I've uh, been here, so hello. Um, I hope everybody is well. Um, today is absolutely no idea. Uh, I've completely lost my week because um, I've been away um, in Scotland for four days. Um, and yeah, the whole week has been turned on its head. It's sometime midweek. Um, and I am only just catching up with um, the budget, what we've spent, um, reallocating funds, etc, etc. Um, and just having time to record. Um, so thank you so much. If um, this is the first time you've clicked on my video. Hello. Um, and for all those returning, thank you so much. Um, so this is going to be a check in for week four four yeah week four march is a five week month for us because my husband doesn't get paid till the end of this week so um i'm gonna save it for the week after um yeah so check in so what have we spent oh my god it's been very spendy <laughs> very very spendy um so, uh, some of the bigger spends i'm gonna do in a separate video um because it gets quite complicated so we'll stick to the easy stuff today. Let's ease myself back into recording with things a little bit easier. Um, another thing that I will, sorry, reaching across, um, is, is show you how I keep track of all my pots. Um, so I have a sheet that I fill out and then, you know, I track all of my credit card spending on the back. And so I think I'll go through that um, another day. Um, so yeah, look out for that video, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, because I've got some downtime now. Um, whilst the children are on holiday, there's no dance, there's no football. Um, yeah, so I'm hope having some annual leave next week, actually, as well. My husband's off as well, so we'll all be off together. Um, we've got absolutely zero plans other than get the house back um, together nicely. Uh, so yeah, so I've realised I've now whittled on for like, I don't know, two or three minutes. Um, so you're not here to listen to me whittle on? Well, you might be. <laughs> I don't know. Um, right, okay, so what have we got left and what have we spent? So I have here £2 left over from my spending um, from the weekend. We sort of run out of funds a couple of hours from home. And we'd been in the car for a very, 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 very long time, like seven hours. Not, we'd stopped a couple of times. We hadn't literally been in the car for seven hours, um, but we'd been on the road for seven hours. Um, so I treated me and my daughter to, we both had a happy meal. <laughs> it was desperate times. Um, so I've got two pounds left from that. I sold something for five pounds on Marketplace. I mean, that is the mankiest five pound note in the world. Uh, five pound is left over from the cash that I had in my holiday spending for this weekend. Um, and then the envelopes, we've got the 15 pound for food uh, because what I done is I went through with the boys all the food that they'd want for the time that we were away. When I say boys, my husband and my two children, they're all just classed as boys um, and and I made sure I got them snacks. I made sure I got them meals um, so they wouldn't need to go to the shop. So I've still got a £15 left. Um, as I say, my self-care has gone. Whoops. Drop that away. Health and beauty has gone. My son had his hair cut. So I left them this family fun um, envelope with £40 in. And there's still £40 in it. Well, that's quite impressive. Um, and then we've got £20 left in time for us, which we will just roll those over. So we have got uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, we've got £27 um, to put into our binders today, um, which is great. Um, and now I've moved, because I've just, I've moved my cheat sheet. So it's actually like blue tacked against the wall. Sorry, I'm leaning in again. Um, I'm just going to put it back up there so I can see what I'm actually going to do. Um, so that's the cash that's left. Um, let's just go through the binders and we'll talk through all of the other things that we've spent. Um, so food had pretty much gone, let's say, other than the um, 
15. Right, fuel and charging. Now, guys, you know that I set myself a target of £100 to get to Scotland and back. So I live in the east of England um, and I drove all the way to Glasgow in an electric car. Um, yeah, it was an experience. I mean, the driving was fine, um, but obviously it was just took forever. Um, I think nine and a half hours up, 10 hours back, um, including like charge time and waiting for chargers up in the north. Um, I'm very lucky where I am and I travel a lot in the south and there is lots of charge stations. Uh, there is not so many in the north. It, you know, I've really had to think and plan. Anyway, waffling on. Um, my goal was to get there and back in less than £100 and I'd done it for £91 and 83p. I was quite pleased with that. Um, however, the north costs a lot, lot more. So I based it all on southern costs, but the northern costs for the times that I was there, yeah, it was a lot more expensive. Um, but I have gone over in fuel because I didn't think about, um, well, so we changed the car before I left. Um, and so we had to put, di uh, not diesel, because it's not a diesel car anymore, it's a petrol car. Um, so we swapped the Golf for a Fiesta. Um, so I had to put it, some fuel in that. Um, and then my uh, dart charge costs came out, um, which was £20, which I didn't think would come out until like next week. But it came out early. So we are like £35 over. So I have spent like £140 in um, fuel and charging, but I'm kind of going to make up for that um, next week. So that's, yeah. But I mean, getting to Scotland and back on a, like 90 quid, um, I think is still pretty good. Um, yeah. And I can't remember how many miles it was, 300 and something, 360 maybe miles each way. So yeah, it was a longer way. And some of the scene, I, we drove, we drove on the A66 between the North Pennines. So we had the North Pennines on the right and the Yorkshire Dales on the left. Um, oh my God, it was just beautiful. And then we drove like through the outskirts of the Lake Districts. Oh, it was just, where I live, it's very flat. Um, so yeah, driving up there was just, oh, it was lovely. Very windy, but lovely. Anyway, I'm like whittling on today. My God. Um, right, self-care. Oh, yeah, I've spent all that as well and some more got my eyebrows done and i didn't quite have enough in there anyway and then i bought snacks <laughs> uh, money for us is empty school oh, school is getting a right battering at the moment or will be um so i've spent 20. now i have got a list of extracurricular stuff that i need to pay for for the boys um my middle is doing Duke of Edinburgh expedition, expedition, I think that's the right word, um, which is like, I don't know, £65. My son has got a second payment for something he done at school, which is £40. Uh, my middle has also got a form trip, which is about £10. So I've got about £100 worth of school trips that I need to pay for. Um, so I'm kind of been budgeting, going to be budgeting for that over the next few weeks. There's £15 left there. Clothes we still haven't spent, which is great. Health, I haven't spent that. Home is just sitting at the moment. I will be doing a separate video, all things home and large purchases. Um, so we'll just sit with that as it is. We have spent stuff. It's sat on a credit card. All of the cash is sat in high interest accounts um, until it's due. But yeah, that's, if you're interested in that sort of stuff, look out for a, a video on that. Kids have drained me um, over the last week. That 70 quid has gone. Um, clubs has also gone. <laughs> what was in here? 130, yeah, gone. Um, some of that was on the weekend for some clothing. Uh, pets has... We spent like 25 quid, I think. Yes, yeah, so we've got 70 left. Uh, what did we spend? Oh, the cat went and had a, uh, the cat, no, the dog had a bit of a groom. 
a nail cut and then we got some cat food. Um, school food, again, oh, they just eat, 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 eat. How dare they eat? Um, right, I haven't got the placeholders out. Are you surprised? Nope, <laughs> I hear you shout. She does this all the time. Right, I've got 15 pounds. These are just ones that I've just taken out, I've just chucked to the side. Uh, so I've got £15 left in food. They break up for the school holidays today. Um, yeah, and then bus pass is the same. Um, right, in here. So this is my medium to long term. So tech, fine. Uh, glasses are fine. Now this. Car. We've changed the car, as I've just mentioned. Um... And there were things that I'd forgotten about or underestimated. So we had £240 in here. And we have spent 285 So the car tax on the new car is £180 a year and I had to pay for that. Uh, whilst I got a good deal on the car, I haven't thought about or oh, had to tax it or what the cost was so yeah note for next well I say note for next time it's going to be a few years before we ch ever change a car again um and then changing the insurance um adding my son as a named driver cost 60 pound and that's till the end of May when it's due for renewal and then we had to buy some car mats so all of this has gone um and I'm gonna in week five I'm using the money to um, well, technically, I won't put anything in here, so I owe this um, forty-five pounds. So I'm going to put. I'm not going to put any money in it, but what would have been put on it will pay off the like credit card and stuff that I put all that stuff on. Anyway, that's really, really, really bad explanation. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so that is gone. So let's actually let's take that out. Um, and then I need to do like another costing, I think, for the car because I don't really know what it is that I need to buy or save for. Um, and then the only other place that I spent from, because all of that is fine, is my holiday binder. Um, so my making lemonade. Oh, ears. And again, um make a lemonade from abundant budgets um has all been used so we went away as i say to scotland me and my daughter uh, we had a budget of 500 pounds so i had 450 in the bank and 50 pound in cash i came back with five in cash um i've spent all of this 450 pounds i think i had one pound 22 left which i've put into my emergency fund um, and that covered our hotel, which was really cheap and really quite crappy. Um, but we weren't in it for very long and it was warm. So, you know, couldn't really swing a cat. Um, my daughter walked in and was like, oh my God, mum, are we actually staying in this room? I was like, yes, we are, darling. Yes, we are. Um, <laughs> not quite like that, but yeah. Uh, and then that also covered all of our food and our snacks. Uh, whilst we were away um so yeah so that you know and all the snacks on the way up and on the way back um as well so that worked out quite well so uh, i need to find another use for this making lemonade um tracker because i really really like it so let's get rid of those so that's all the spending lots of spending um now we have got how much did i say 27 pounds left now, I've been, I'm in an hour in whether to put the £24 into Sunday savings, which was like quite a few days ago, or whether to kind of put it somewhere else. But I think I am just going to do this. Um, I think we may end up dipping in and out of this um, as the year progresses, but we'll see. So we've got... Uh, 10, 15, 20. If I put 25 in and take one out, I will swap out these five pound notes um, for when I do my cash 
stuffing because I'm not going to have a chance to go to a post office, so I'm just going to have to go to the machine. Um, I might put that in, try and flatten that really, really manky note. So, right, so we're nearly finished March, so we've got one more week. Um, I will have um, uh, extra cash. Bleh extra um cash to stuff into my challenges as well at some point over the next week um just uh because i have why have i <laughs> so i've got i think i've got about 100 110 pounds to put into savings challenges uh from extra work that i've done um because i was actually working as well while we were away um just like in the evenings and stuff or early mornings when my daughter was asleep um, and then, um, yeah, so I've got some extra cash to bring in that I don't want to roll over to next month. So we've got three pounds left. So I'm putting the three pounds into Dream, which is from Grounded Budgets. And I love this quote. So three pounds is going into this. Um, I have definitely waffled like loads today. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I also do have a 500 subscriber giveaway um, that finishes on Sunday the 31st. Um, so go and check that out if you want to enter. Um, and that is me. My check-in for week four of March is done. Um, so I'm going to go to the cash machine um, and I'll see if I can record the week five today or i might record it tomorrow um so keep an eye out if i've got this jumper on i've recorded it same day if i haven't you know i didn't get time anyway um thank you so much uh, and i'll see you in the next video bye